me Ron Huang. Before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Ron Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. In this very particular, I one particular episode, I want to discuss overgeneralize with generalize <laughs> with uh, all of you. Um, have you ever, you know, been watching news? And for example, right now, if you're watching Russians having a war or attacking Ukraine, you decided you're gonna hate all the Russian, the Russian product or Russian everything, just so you can make your protest, you're gonna, you know, fight for your belief and things like that. And a lot of time it could be a, a grocery store you always go to, or it could be a friends that you've been friends for like 10 years or something like that. But due to what's going on in the world right now, you decide to hate them all of a sudden, you know, because you get all the anger and you do not know what to do and you do not know where to vent your anger. Therefore, you decide to vent it on the closest people that you know. But then again, we do that all the time to our close one anyway. <laughs> we tend to keep all the garbage and junk, emotional garbage and junk and dump it on the people that's closer to us, right? So in this very particular episode, I just want to discuss the overgeneralization. I mean, Pardon me if my pronunciation is not correct, but you know what it is I'm trying to discuss with you all. Um, the reason I want to discuss it is as we're progressing into the uh, newer generation, as you heard, a lot of spiritual people out there try to share that we are evolved to the next generation. What is the next generation? Like exactly what it is that we're going to become. It is that we're going to become a more aware, um, aware soul and then more um, or better direction that way we're heading and then how we can bring everybody up and evolve as an individual and as a group at the same time. So the reason I want to bring this up is as we progress uh, into the future that where soul is trying to evolve, you will start to understand individualization or individuality is actually become more and more important. Everybody just fight for their stand, who they are, what they are, or somehow try to figure out who they are and what they are. They start to understand like I'm different from other people and then um, less and less people want to be all the same. So um, that process is basically some kind of the evolution or the progress from the old time we went through that industrial period of time that we treat everything's the same everybody's the same every people are the same men and women are all the same so as we were producing some kind of product so we will assume all of them need the same kind of education all of them need the same kind of treatment all of them need the same thing um, as a soul evolve, individuality is very important because we start to identif identify ourselves as we are different from all of them. Like, yeah, we may be similar, but we are somehow somewhat different. So the whole soul journey, we're focusing a lot on the, the who we are, what we are, and how we are different from other people, and meanwhile, how we are the same as the other people and that whole process will actually help soul to evolve and achieve whatever uh, purpose or the task like they have set for themselves so if you understand that you understand individuality you will understand how is contract or contrary from what it used to be like called generalization so everybody are all the same and things like that so as we slowly evolve into the future, you will understand the old way of thinking. I'm gonna group you all the same. You guys are all the same. Sure, I mean, I'm not saying like it doesn't exist. It still exists. Understand based on what I'm sharing with you, there will always be some kind of ratio. There will be 40, 60 ratio, roughly there. If we're lucky, 70, 30, but I would say to be safe, it's usually 40, 60. So in that ratio, I'm not here to saying, you know, no thing will never exist or no thing should not exist. So based on the proper ratio and healthy ratio, that would be 60, 40, 60. So this is a time you will look at yourself. In what ratio am I, right? Am I living in the old time where I generalize everything? Or am I trying to evolve and identify individuality? So when I'm saying giving up, am I here to tell you to give up generalization? No, there are times that when you're doing study, you're doing um, your report or something like that, you have to generate all the con um, all the tests or all the example and things like that, then you have an idea 
to help you understand things better. But when it comes to hate, when it comes to hate, right? This is a time you have to be very careful. Those kind of feeling, those negativity, those aggression, does that really help your soul grow? Is it really gonna bring you to the next level that like your soul plan this life for? Why the world is a mess out there. Am I going to throw more negative just so I can make the stand, but therefore hurt all the innocent? You know, we always believe our word is not going to hurt anybody. And just, just don't take it seriously. But the reality have shown your word can be as harmful as any bomb. It can create long-term damage into people's spirits that you cannot predict in that case. So if that is the case, while you're looking at yourself in a soul perspective, and I would really like to evolve, and I really like to grow into the next level, why I am watching all those news and the reality is it's probably quite overwhelming um then you do not know how to digest all those information is it really necessary for you to throw in more hate into it can, it could be you know very friendly russian restaurant it could be the friends you've been friends forever um it could be some community like you've been participating for the past five six years i mean is it really necessary and if you don't have those kind of comment key around you you say hey i would never treat my friend that way it just you know i really don't believe that grocery store should be running and those are simply the people you don't know isn't it important from a source perspective to come back thinking but is it necessary to throw the hate out there i mean i heard a lot of news recently i would be people calling some some restaurant to shut down you know you you should close your shop you don't even deserve to open i mean is it really their decision to decide the war i mean is it really in their hand <laughs> to decide we should have the war today so anyway the reason i made this particular episode is you know i cannot say we are in the world peace nothing's gonna happen there will always been some things happening but as i say um no small egg is too small so why the world is already unstable out there isn't it more important for us to actually be more together and then work to the same goal as a humankind instead of a nation instead of i'm gonna generalize you if you your country start a war therefore you are also a terrorism therefore you also the bad people therefore you must participate uh those decisions as well i mean coming on we don't we all wish we can decide how country make a decision i mean come on <laughs> i'm pretty sure they wish they are that powerful too then therefore they don't have to be there and serve you serve you a cup of coffee or serve you a totally you know whatever food um they're selling so anyway this is just a small episode really just sharing my personal thought with you guys i mean why the world is already unstable out there i think we are in the position we can be in a better place to think about our act you know we cannot change your world but we can change from ourselves and if everybody think from that perspective i i truly believe this world is already much better place than it is or it was yesterday so um anyway while we are focusing either over generalized things i'm not saying this is a bad skill it is a good skill if you want to use it in the right place but today if you simply i mean you can show your frustration you can show your uh anger but throwing hate over the place to the irrelevant people just picture it it's no different from all those people throwing bomb to hurt all the innocents so hope we can use this episode to somehow reflect ourselves okay so uh if you like what i'm doing um thank you for continue supporting my youtube membership and i will continue hoping continuously updating in the future so till then next time bye now <laughs>